All right, crazy ice storm, but that's not gonna stop me from hitting up Boom 99.7 here in Ottawa for an awesome interview with my friend Dylan Black for the toy time machine. Okay, it's a bit icy out. But I've been uh, brushing off the car. It's 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 a forever battle. It is a Facebook Live interview, so make sure that you tune in at three o'clock. Look at that! Look at that! Holy cow, man! This is Canada. All right, three o'clock on the Facebook page. It's going to be awesome. We're going to be talking about vintage toys and collectibles on my YouTube channel. Oh wow, this weather is just crazy. This is Canada, but like I said, you can't stop the toy time machine. All right, how you doing? I'm Dylan Black. This is going to be very fun. Who doesn't like retro toys? We're talking about toys from the 70s, 80s, 90s. Uh, with us right now, he's with the toy time machine. There he is. Lawrence Morin joins us, but your friends call you Lance. They call right? me Lance, you know, that's something that my friends can call me. Yeah. Thank you so much for having me on the show. This is great. I can't believe I'm here. Well, I've welcome. Never, I've never been in a, a studio like a this before. Station? A radio station. This All is right. so cool. Well, welcome. The Toy yeah. Time Machine. Okay, so how long has uh, the Toy Time Machine been around for at this point? Well, it's been around for about six years. Yeah. Seven years it all started with me. Uh, you know, trying to recollect all the stuff from when I was a kid and I would just buy massive collections and then I got the idea of maybe selling a few of my extra pieces at a flea market. So I was at the Riedel Carlton Raceway selling a few things here and there on, on Sundays and it just trickled into me doing the biggest conventions in Canada, going going everywhere and and starting to film and throw this stuff up on YouTube. It's, mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's been a joy. And you do have a YouTube channel as well? Yeah, that's uh, that's what I'm doing here. I want yeah. to promote the YouTube channel. It's called The Toy Time Machine. And uh, it's a lot of uh, vintage toy hunts and uh, it's something I really like to do. Okay, so I know that you go out and you find, because some of the toys you brought were from my list. Yeah. But before we get to that, I mean, what about your favorite toys? What are the toys that you grew up with? You know, when I was a kid, uh, my parents did a pretty good job with, with picking me up things that I, I really liked, especially because there was not a lot of cash in the house. So they did a great job, but we also moved a lot. And with that comes losing a lot of the yeah. things that I had when I was a kid. So uh, Ninja Turtles, oh man, I was so hyperactive with Ninja Turtles. You There's can see a Ninja Turtle. Giant Ninja Turtle. Um, Thundercats, G.I. Joe. Um, and, and Batman, anything Batman I loved. Yeah. Yeah. So those okay. were some of the things that I really loved. So you keep uh, still keep your eyes open for those, what, like your favorites? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So in fact, I was at the Morrisburg Flea Market yesterday and I picked up a few things that were uh, especially from my childhood, so yeah. Um, yeah, let's, yeah, let's start looking at some of the stuff that yeah. you brought, and of course, we'll talk about the YouTube channel, how people can get in touch with you, and also as well, if people have any questions about retro toys, and perhaps uh, you could give us maybe like some background on yeah, some of the yeah, toys I can or definitely like do that. that. Uh, just chime in, and uh, we'll we'll ask them right here on Facebook yeah, we Live. Can do that. So, so, what toys have you brought with you here today? So, some of the things that I brought were from your list. Yeah. Um, you gave me a list. It was five different things, and um, one of them was He-Man. So, I brought Skeletor and one of the comic books that used to come Skeletor. in the packaging. Look at this guy right there. That's classic. So, what year do you think we're looking at for this? This is 1981, and uh, that was that was the first Skeletor figure. Awesome. Did you know? Awesome. Here's here's a, 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 a did you know they created the toy before they created the show? That's right. So because the show came out in 1982. Yeah. So yeah. I think that it had something to do with the Star Wars action like that. line before like that, that, and they had to create a toy that would be awesome. So then they figured, let's create the cartoon. And that's what they did. That's I was a He Man fan. I, I love it. I love you know. it. Another thing on your list was Elf. Yes, there he is, Elf. Yeah. Alien life form. Yeah, alien life form. Are you waiting for me to do my impersonation? <laughs> ah, I oh, kill it's me! Good. It's good. Gordon Shumway here! Ha! So that's the Elf doll. I got yep. that for you. Um, <laughs> Another another thing on your list was the uh, the Star Wars. So these are the nineteen so the, seventy seven so Star Wars. Ones, these okay. are the original. So Obi Wan, Obi -Wan. and you got to love the technology Luke. of this as well because you, you I don't know what happened to his lightsaber, but it sort of comes out like that. There you go. Looks more like a candle now, which is kind of odd. But <laughs> so that's Obi Wan, and there's Luke in his younger days, not his uh, his geriatric state now. So uh, he's looking very cool. So so how much do you think that they would be worth? Well, you know. It's always it's always determining on you know what somebody is willing to pay, but I've seen these sell anywhere from forty to to sixty seventy bucks. That's crazy. Though, if right? it's in packaging though, these things can go very high. Yeah, you're looking at 
maybe even thousands of dollars. Have you ever seen uh, original Star Wars figures in the packaging still? Yeah, but it, it is starting to get a lot harder to come across, especially here in later. Canada. Yeah, yeah, 40 years later. It's, it's getting harder and harder to find this stuff. So that's always, that's another reason why I'm here is if people are watching and they have these things lying around the house, you can contact me at the Toy Time Machine on my Facebook and uh, I'll, I'll come out and I'll, uh, I'll be happy to look at what you've got, mm -hmm. give you a fair appraisal on it and, and willing to buy whatever you have. Because you are Ottawa based. I am, yeah. Okay, so, so you're mobile. Mobile, oh, yeah, absolutely. Takes. Okay. And uh, what else was on the list? Well, that you, you had? mentioned actually, I wanted to mention okay. this because you, you were talking about Morrisburg Flea Market, yeah. and this. So this is Batman from the the movie that came out in 1989. I'm guessing. Uh, it was uh, it retailed at 80 cents. How much did you pay for this? Okay, so I paid I paid a dollar. So yeah. the guy ended up making 20 cents, but I don't know what the inflation on, on <laughs> that would be. But That's this, bubble gum. this this is bubble gum. So when I was a kid, that was the big thing was toothpaste gum. So this is a tube of toothpaste gum, and uh, if you want, we can even maybe try some of this. This is thirty. Year, th I'll, I'll try it if you, you try. Can try it. This is thirty no. year old. This is thirty year old gum. Yeah. You tell me what that smells like. Uh, smell it actually like a smells, flea market. It smells like a flea market. Yeah, like but I'll old, try it. I don't it care. Smells like old comic books. There you go. Uh, no, that's not very good. Going down that's not very good. That's not very good. Probably not a good idea to Cheap do that. parlor tricks here, right? That's <laughs> <laughs> not, not very not good. Where can I put that? Right not there. Not a good idea. All right. Oh, man. Did, did you already mention this, this nope. classic? Uh, no, nope. uh, that was a G.I. Joe, so I, I did find this cool lunchbox. I'll take the gum <laughs> off of that. <laughs> yeah. If you do like this and you want to buy it, you're, I'll make sure that I clean it up. But that even has a thermos in it. Oh, that's something, right? This is cool. Okay, so that's circa mid-1980s for sure. Yep. G.I. Joe. 86, about. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, also at the flea market, that's awesome, okay? So I came across a few of these. This is Crash Test Dummies. So this was a toy based off the PSAs, those public service announcements. And um, so you would you put them in the car and you'd smash the cars up and they would just fall apart. Yeah. These were really cool. Now, now that's from the this, 90s. Was this Canadian uh, based because... You know what, this, this is a Canadian tire... Uh, special uh, variant whatever you want to call it but okay. uh, I don't know if it was uh, straight up just Canadian yeah because it looks like maybe the line was made especially specifically for Canadian tire but perhaps yeah. that isn't the case uh, this I'm still was trying awesome to get well. that taste of yeah I know I'm trying to talk more <laughs> so. for you here the real Ghostbusters of course we had the, the movies come out and then there was an animated feature uh, that came out as well I remember I used to uh, collect the sticker books oh, with the yeah, real ghosts of Granny I think and here we go, one of the characters. So this is mid-1980s as well. Yeah, 1986. This is Ray from the Fright Features line. This was the second series that came out for Ghostbusters. Awesome, awesome figure. Now what I'd like to do, if people want to chime in, I'm going to give this away on the show today. Like okay. here? Right here, right now. Wow. Now all you have to do is be the first one to message in right now and tell me who the four real Ghostbusters were in the original movie and cartoon. So, so the, characters, the that characters, Dan Aykroyd and, and all those guys. All played. those guys. Who were the okay, who cool. were the four characters? Chime in, message us right now, and we're gonna awesome. for a bit. So and can, that's really awesome. So first one that gets it right. And, and until you get it right, uh, Lawrence will check out the, the messages, the, the responses later on as well. So that uh, car actually looks pretty old because that looks like. Speaking of Batman, it looks like original Batman from what the sixties. This is this is one of the Cordys from a Cordy Junior's line. This was nineteen seventy six Cordys. This little car. If you find one of these, pick it up if you can yeah. get it for a good price. Because this thing here, you'll get about 35 bucks for it. Really? Yeah. And it probably originally sold for about 10 cents. I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> you stumped me. I don't know what it originally sold for. But, back but in those uh, days, right? I mean, maybe about a buck or something. Yeah. Who knows? That's incredible. But uh, that was before my So time. where would you have gotten that piece? This, again, was at the Morrisburg Flea Market. Really? The yeah. Morrisburg? Yeah. There's so, a lot of plugs for the Morrisburg Flea Market. Yeah, sure. they, I've been going there a long time, and it's a it's a good uh, group of vendors out there. <laughs> so I'm always, I've always been a huge fan of, uh, I mean, the world of wrestling, right? Especially in the 1980s. And you brought some thumb wrestlers. Yeah. I remember I used to have those with my brother as well. So we've got Rowdy Roddy Piper here, Hot Rod, and you've got, you got Hulk Hogan. You got Hulk Hogan. Yeah. But, but the thing that I always found is you couldn't really fit your finger in there or your thumb in there very well. I, I don't have uh, sausage fingers like you, so I can, <laughs> I can totally get in there. No, no problem. We am, brother. Oh, yeah. We am, brother. Oh, hey. <laughs> I do remember that, though. Uh, obviously, buying these when I was a kid as well. Yeah, these were great. And then they had the full action figures, uh, which was very cool. Nikolai yep. Volkov was the first one my mom ever bought me. Because he's, I don't know if you remember that wrestler at all from Not the at all. USSR, Nikolai Volkov. Okay. Very cool. Anyway, there you go. What's the belt all about? Lance? So, 
on the YouTube channel, The Toy Time Machine, if you check us out. On some of the episodes, we do vintage toy hunts, but it's a good, good group of guys, and we go out and we challenge each other to finding the best stuff. So we do these $20 toy hunts, $20 challenges, and uh, every episode, somebody's got the chance to win the toy picking championship of the world. And this is it. That's a <laughs> really cool looking belt. It's got some heft to it. It's not a cheap belt. I spent over 200 bucks on it. So this is a real deal. Okay. Uh, so, so sorry, how do, like a wrestling that, so, so how do people get that around their waist? Like, what, what do they have to do again? Well, they have to go out with me. Yeah. If you're a friend of mine, okay. then you can go on these toy hunts with me. <laughs> and then you, we, we, we pick the best stuff and we, yeah. we challenge each other to find in the coolest stuff. And okay. it's called uh, the, the Toy Championship. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. So it's just a little, uh, little something that we do on the, the YouTube channel, among a lot of other things. Uh, okay. So outside the Morrisburg flea market and flea markets, I mean, where do you think is the best spot to find toys like this? Retro toys. Oh, man, that's so hard. Uh, on my Facebook page, people are always messaging me, asking me uh, to come check out their collections. I think that's probably the one spot. It used to just be the flea markets and garage sales, but yeah. um, since the Facebook page and the YouTube page has been growing, I'm getting a lot more leads on this, this stuff. So um, I, I couldn't be happier. And uh, it's such a good community out there. And, do, do you I buy any, any new toys? Do you buy new toys? Or just, yeah, I do buy new toys. Um, as long as it's something that I like, it, it you know, it hits me in the, uh, yeah. the face and I like it. Then. So, so how many toys would you say that you have? Because I know that you also, because yeah. last you and I did this on my television show in town, mm -hmm. and you brought ALF comics and you gave them all to me. Yeah, yeah. So I know that you give away a lot of the stuff that you buy as well because you're just a nice guy. So uh, how many toys would you say that you have on hand right now in your own home? Probably be about in the in the house. Probably about five thousand. It's a, it's a lot. I have, I have a huge basement now. It's a lot of a lot of toys and collectibles. And you're right. I like I like giving stuff. There's a lot of charities uh, around the holidays that uh, I like to donate to for yeah. for toys because these are charities that would help my family out during the holidays too. So. Okay. Um, very nice. Can yeah. you tell me where you're going to be found in the very near future? Because you're going to be going around doing all kinds of stuff. Yeah. There's an event coming up in Cornwall. Yeah, you're from Cornwall, right? Um, Vankly Kill, but we used to go to Cornwall all the time. Fantasy Realm was the name of the comic book shop, yeah, so that's yeah, where yeah. I bought most of my elf comics. But I know they have an event coming up. They are holding an event next Sunday. No, Saturday, Sunday. Mm -hmm. And it's called Cape. Yeah. So, and it's a big comic toy convention. And uh, I'll be there with my friends probably around three o'clock, and we're going to be doing our toy hunt uh, oh, are video. You? Yeah, somebody's going to win the YouTube. belt. Someone's going to win the belt. Um, if you want to find out, if you watched the last episode and you want to find out who won the belt last time, then you could tune into the yeah. Uh, What's the show YouTube right? channel? It's called the Toy Time Machine. Simple as that. Just Simple, search easy. It okay, you got to throw the th. The the I'm gonna put the the in there. The okay, time so machine. last time you and I did this, like I mentioned on my TV show, you gave me all those elf comics. So I'm gonna give you something right now. You're gonna give me my elf comics back? No, <laughs> no, because I've been giving those out to kids too, right? So because uh, I like to pay it forward. So put oh, your hands in there, cool. pull up this guy. Now I'll tell you. Uh, I mean, this is a beanie baby. It's right? a beanie so, baby. Oh, that's cool. Now the cool thing about this beanie baby is this guy's from 1999, so he's retro, right? I mean, he's I retro. Still consider yeah. that to yeah. retro. Uh, my parents are still in Vankly Kill, and they collected beanie babies like crazy. Um, and now they're downsizing, and they're saying, "What are we going to do with all of them?" So they want me to give them to special people. So now you can add oh, this guy. Thank you. Your Donald Trump beanie baby. <laughs> I am going to Ohio. <laughs> In September for a convention out there with uh, some cool guys um, from from the community on YouTube. We're going to do a big collab, so um, mm. this is cool. I'll, I'll, I'll bring this to uh, the States with me. Yeah, that's, that's cool. cool. That's awesome. Before we go, yeah. we still have a little bit of time? Yeah, of course. Like, this is Lucy Goosey, this interview, right? Yeah, sure. I wanted to bring this thing up. Well, yes, of I course. I want to talk about this thing. Is that okay? Yeah, go for so it. So I've got a friend. His name is Josh Graham. I met him through the hobby, and he has a little hobby business thing whatever you want to call it uh, called half shell customs and he does usually like the five six inch figures but I gave him a challenge I said if you want to do a giant turtle for me make me one and he made this huh. it's awesome and what's really cool about this thing is that this has got a storage shell so yeah. everything I brought here today I stuck it in there yeah that is okay. cool Look at that. Okay, so, so there's nothing really retro about this no, per se. Re just not retro. It's just I I, I love Ninja Turtles. And, of course, and, uh, and Ninja Turtles are retro. Themselves, I wanted to so. give you know I've had this for five years and I haven't really done anything to promote him. So I thought I'd throw it on. <laughs> 
Which wrote in this interview and try to help him that's out. That's okay. You know? Which Ninja Turtle is that? This is Mikey. Michelangelo. Oh, Michelangelo. Yeah. That's awesome. All the turtles were named after Renaissance painters. So. Definitely. So, uh, <laughs> so cool to have, uh, yeah. have Lance, Lawrence, Morin with us yeah. uh, here. Now, uh, you mentioned earlier that uh, you had to, to give the names oh, of the yeah. original four do Ghostbusters. We, do we have that? Do so we have somebody uh It may be difficult to, uh, for, for our uh, amazing uh, coordinators, content mm -hmm. coordinators. Check that out right now. But if we can't figure out exactly if we got the original four names, we will have a look at this video and we'll contact you, which is very cool, okay, to win this. What's the name of the four original Ghostbusters to win? Not, not from the, no. the, the, the recent Ghostbuster movie. No. I don't want those names. I from the born movies. in the 90s, the, so no. yeah. I don't know the names. Yeah, yeah. 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 A lot of people born in the 90s don't that's know it. that. That's okay. That's okay. But that's very okay. cool. You know? What's the best way to get in touch with you? The Toy Time Machine on yeah. Facebook is probably the, the best way for people to get a hold of me. Also, um, I've got a lot of people commenting uh, right in the YouTube uh, comments section. So come check me out on, on YouTube, The Toy Time Machine. If you like, it's free to subscribe, so why don't you? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> it's a lot of fun, the channel. And you're also available, as you said, to possibly drop by people's homes, check out their Absolutely. collections, Absolutely. purchase their collections. Absolutely. Um, so I'll definitely do that. Uh, if you've got some cool collections that you want uh, some, um, you know, to, to, for somebody to buy, I'll, I'll come out and I'll, I'll check them out, no problem. Um, and... Uh, if not, at least give you sort of an appraisal of what uh, I think they're they're truly uh, valued at. All right, there you yeah. go. Pretty cool. Ha! I kill me! <laughs> That's my elf. Uh, good. Once again, I'm Dylan Black. Thank you very much. And as always, thank you for uh, clicking yes when we go live. Thank you so much. And to give this a share so people can find out about oh, the yes. toy time machine. Simple as that. Thank Have you. a good day. Thank you. Thank you so much for checking out the Toy Time Machine. If you like this video, comment below, let me know, please subscribe and share, and do me a huge favor, check out the Toy Time Machine on Facebook. Peace!